And the Tulsa City Council cut apart some budget changes requested by the mayor, rejecting the urgency of adding any new employees to the city payroll. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan's on this story for us, new this evening. Emery. Scott, the Tulsa City Council pushed back part of the mayor's changes to the budget today. Some of the things the mayor said he could delay and some he said were quite urgent. There's $100,000 in the, a budget amendment for a planning director and an assistant. The city council looked at a $1.5 million budget addition from the mayor's office and rejected parts because they didn't believe it was as urgent as the mayor suggested. The 400000 for legal services mm -hmm. for outside council. Okay. Mayor Bartlett brought the change to the council as a mid-course correction to the budget that was written in early summer. Both the money coming in and going out was not expected back then. Councilor G.T. Bynum wanted to split apart the items so only the top priorities would go forward. I still think that that $18 million budget number that you brought up as far as going into next year is a real concern. Mayor Bartlett said that while the budget next year was still a concern, several new spending items couldn't wait until then. The $18 million shortfall, we're still very uh, focused on that. It's less. You know, we, we have made some improvements. But several councilors rejected the budget items because even though they've been in the works for months, they were delivered to the council as an urgent request that needed approval this week. There's a lot of things on here, a lot more than we can just look at today and then decide on, on Thursday that we need to go ahead and let this pass because once again, uh, smoke and mirrors, and I think we're going to get duped if we do that. Councilor Rick Westcott agreed with the others who wanted to split up the request, arguing the city needed to take care of existing employees before hiring more. We've got to consider taking some effort, finding funding somewhere to reduce our employees' remaining furlough days before we spend a few hundred thousand dollars to create new positions. Now, the council looks likely to approve five of the mayor's priorities, but leave out one that he said was most important, $400,000 to step up the city's defense of police corruption cases. They will delay money for new employees until they can spend more time looking at the need. Emory Bryan, News on 6.